Right guys, so the last year and a half, or thereabouts, I've been wearing these Scarpa, um, basically hiking boots, or shoes rather, um, but I've finally worn the soles out. And they've been so, so good. Um, they're far from cheap, but then they're not mega expensive at the same time. So, I bought a new pair. £140, and uh, this is literally the first time I've opened them. So it's just a case of, let's have a look. So they are, I believe, Gore-Tex lined. You get a turn signal and everything like that. So yeah, identical. Um, I think you can see that there. There we go. Uh, yeah, Gore-Tex, there we go. So Gore-Tex lined. The colour change over the last year and a half, and a bit of abuse. <laughs> um, you can see the line there, was when I was in the sea the other day. I haven't actually washed these yet. Um, that's the salt line there, you can see the salt water's actually dried onto the boot, um, onto the shoe. Um, these are really, really well made. Um, back to the old ones, quickly. These have had everyday use. Uh, I'm talking walking off-road, mud, uh, up sort of rocky, sort of mountainous kind of uh, things, in water, in the sea, um, absolutely just abused. Um, anybody who sees my photography, you know I go, uh, you know, above and beyond the, the sort of the average um, by shooting in the rain or in the sea or, you know, all these different sort of things. And uh, the, only, the only trouble I have with them is the metal... Uh, bits here for the where the laces go through um it wore the laces out so they actually just frayed so they sort of you know strip themselves and have the inner core so i just bought a new pair of laces other than that i've actually literally you can see there worn the sole th almost through in a couple of places um and even more on that one but the most comfortable shoes i've ever bought and straight off well, as soon as you put them on um, no issues whatsoever and I, I got the old uh, you know decent sole the big difference there look um, don't normally do fashion fashion or uh, clothing hauls or whatever you want to call it but um, I just thought I'd tell you about what I use daily um, and uh, go through my equipment but one being obviously good shoes and one if you're a bit like me and you don't mind getting a little bit wet or whatever like that. One thing is you don't want, especially in the winter, is wet feet. Um, and these things, you do them up nice and tight. They seal really well around here. Uh, and I've never, never really got wet, even if I've stood in the sea and the waves come over. My, my feet have actually stayed dry. Obviously, the socks and trousers have got wet. But um, other than that. But, um, yeah, no, they're just sort of the best shoe I've ever bought. I tried... Um, in one of the adventure stores, you know, where they sell all the different hiking shoes and this, that and the other. Um, all the different uh, different types. And um, you're sort of looking at, uh, I'm not working in dollars, working in English pounds. But I was sort of looking at the £75 up to £100 mark. So I thought, that would do, you know, the decent shoes, uh, Merrells or something like that, you know. Um, but obviously got a Vibrand sole, uh, good uh, arch support and everything like that, and Gore-Tex and this it and the other, but I just couldn't. I just didn't fit. They uh, they fitted, but they just weren't comfortable. And you just put them on, and you thought, nah, these just don't feel quite right when you walked around, you know. Um, but with the Scarpers, I sort of stood there and thought, mm, 140 quid, a little bit more than I was expecting to pay, uh, or deciding to pay at the time. And uh, I thought, you know what, stuff it. So I tried them on, and straight away, boom. Um, Massive difference, huge difference in in the level of quality and also comfort and everything like that. And I say I've walked up in Wales, North Wales, with these things on. I have got another pair of boots, which is Scarpa as well, um, which a friend of mine introduced me to a couple of years ago. And they just live in the boot of my car. Um, so if there's anything more than uh, you know light mud or whatever, um, I generally will put them on. Um, but they're the same sort of thing. They're about two hundred quid, uh, one hundred and fifty, two hundred pounds, I think, for the. Uh, the actual shoe, uh, the boot, those ones. Um, these shoes here, honestly, by 
by miles the best shoe I've ever ever owned. Uh, and they're relatively smart. You can kind of get away with wearing them to if you're shooting a wedding, uh, you know, stuff like that. You've got to have good shoes on. You're on your feet for 10, 12 hours. You know, um, it makes all the difference. So I just thought I'd show you guys what what they're like. You know, um, obviously these ones have been heavily abused, and they've done over over a year uh, of everyday use. Um, as you can see, they're filthy dirty, um, but they've held up really, really well. The note they don't leak. Um, it's just the soles I've worn out really. Um, they can probably do with a good clean and the re, um, you know, just a, a re coating or whatever, um, which I have got. Um, but like I say just replace the laces because the metal there just wears on on the actual lace eventually, and it just it just separated and you end up with just the core, and eventually they snap. Um, but uh, they will change shape. Obviously, these are padded out at the moment with the paper and everything inside, um, which obviously. Uh, and you obviously get them on and wear them and, and whatever. They don't need breaking in, they're straight away just boom, really, really nice to wear and super comfortable. Never had a blister from them, never had achy feet from them, um, never slipped on them until now. This is where I noticed the other day where I was walking on the grass on a steepish bank and I was losing grip a little bit. So, um, obviously, compared to that, um, completely different grip situation. Um, but it just shows you how many miles I've done in them. They've actually worn right down through to the, uh, the sole itself. But I'll just carry on wearing them just as a everyday uh, shoe if I, you know, you know, if it's dry or whatever. So, um, yeah, yeah, just thought I'd show you guys what, what I've got. Um, and uh, yeah, they're £140 in this country, uh, in, in, in the UK. Um, and uh, their actual name is the Cirrus. So it's the Cirrus GTX uh, Scarpa uh, shoe. So um, yeah, that's what I just thought I'd show you guys what they were like, and um, that's one bit of what I I wear really. So okay, I shall see you soon.